Okay, ma. Okay, you can start. Yes, please start, ma. A very good morning to everyone present here. This is Bishmita. I would like to start by wishing you and your families my personal best for your health and safety in these difficult times. It is a glorious moment to express my profound gratitude on behalf of JNN Institute of Engineering. I am very glad to acknowledge our chief guest, Dr. Yes Kumaran sir. I would also like to warmly welcome our honorable chairman sir, beloved vice chairman sir, our respectable principal sir, and finally our scrupulous ECEHOD Joseph Jaykumar sir on behalf of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. We welcome you with great esteem and cheerful greetings sir. I am very pleased to extend my warm greetings on behalf of Department of ECE conducting a webinar on intellectual property rights to protect the innovations, research and funding activities by resource person, Mr. Dr. S. Kumaran sir. Now, I would like to speak few words about our chief guest, Mr. Dr. S. Kumaran sir, who is Associate Professor in Department of Biotechnology and Dean Research in Periyar Maniammai Institute of Science and Technology. He did his degree in B.Sc. Chemistry in Bharati Dasan University, Master's and Doctorate in Environmental Science and Doctorate in Analytical Chemistry in Charles University, Prague. He has written many journals which includes Sequential Processing Hexagonal Reactor for Biodegradable Hospital Waste, Reactor for Biodegradable Hospital Waste, etc. He was awarded Gold Medal Special Performance Award in Periyar Maniamma University in 2008, Endeavor Medal in Ministry of Education by Australia Government in 2009, Innovation Ambassadors, three badges from IIIC, MHRD and AICTE Government of India in 2019. He also received many scholarships and awards with Postdoctoral Research Award in Japan, Senior Research Fellowship in Seth Republic, and MSc Research Project Award in Tiruchirappalli. He worked as a resource advisor for PhD students in the years 2016, 2019, and 2020. He done his consultancy services from 2010 to 2011. He is also a reviewer in journal, inter, international coordinator, reviewer in international conference proceedings. His societal, con, his societal contributions include intensive program for tribe students on basic science and mathematics, helping such students who have studied Tamil language in Charles University, and national social service, cleaning the walls of Tanjavur Big Temple, etc. And now, he is currently working as Associate Professor in Department of Biotechnology and Dean Research in Periyar Maniammai Institute of Science and Technology. Now, now, I would like to call our today's presenter, Mr. Dr. S. Kumaran, sir, to share his views and thoughts and knowledge with us. Over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, sir, is it my voice is clear? Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay. Good morning to all of you. Uh, today, my topic is going to be intellectual property rights to protect the innovation, research, and funding opportunities. So I thank uh, for the opportunity to interact with the students of EC in Jain College Institute of Engineering in Chennai. So but this is going to be like a, I want to be as a interactive. So if you have any questions in the end or in the in, in between, you can put it in the chat box so I can uh, uh, do my best to I mean fulfill your I mean, uh, or satisfy your answers. The content of the presentation is going to be an IPR. So intellectual property rights is going to be a, a, one of the important uh, areas uh, like where India needs to concentrate. That's a uh, uh, Ministry of Education, earlier this is what is MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development. Now, Ministry of Education and the AACT is concentrating to increase the filing of the patents from India uh, to the 
in lakh sets, few lakh sets, because we know that uh, China is leading. We are going to see that uh, slide. Sharing the research experience, I have a, a few slides of the publication which uh, uh, from my uh, uh, team, and also uh, research opportunity, opportunities and how to do carry out uh, research, and there are some funding opportunities. So I hope the slides are moving. I would like to start with my acknowledgement to Mr. Kumar Mengdeson, who is a, a lawyer and who did a ML patent agent and who taught me uh, the IPR and also for the IAC, Institution Innovation Council, uh, cell, sorry, Institution Innovation Cell from MHRD and now it's the Ministry of Education and the AACT. They have uh, trained us, uh, so a few faculty members almost in Tam from Tamil Nadu could be around 400, more than 400. And every year they are keep uh, doing the uh, training program. So we have a PMIST Institution Innovation Council. So if you have, don't have IAC, so I request you to also uh, uh, start IAC in your uh, uh, college. And also I support our management. I start with the introduction. What is the idea? So property can be two types. One is tangible. Another is intangible. Whereas tangible, you know that it can be measurable. So most of you are engineers, so you know that very well. Then me, I'm from a science background. Intangible property, it's a right to individual reputation. Example like Dr. Kalam's uh, name cannot be used for any individual uh, for the some commercial benefit. So these are the intangible property. So that is why IPR comes under intangible property. So there is a separate law, is there, which are People, uh, big companies cannot uh, take their our invention uh, by overnight and they can make a better product than us. So we will lose our IPR. IPR can be like uh, in the definition, it's uh, like then from Wikipedia. You can capacity, intellectual mean capacity, creativity, idea, knowledge, properties owned by registered and processed. It can be claimed once we have uh, some invention, whether we can apply we can own it or we can sell it or we can lease it or this is a possibility yeah owner should have whatever the uh, physical property which we are having it the same way a person can enjoy the benefits of IPR so that is why it's very important and uh, it's a given uh, 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 due I mean for the student this is going to be a beneficial so IPR can be like in broader category, eight types, patents, trademarks, design, copyright, integrated circuits and layout designs, GA, plant varieties and former rights, trade secret and confidential information. So being a, most of your EC from background, so integrated circuits and layout design is going to be very important for you. Otherwise also design copyright and patent also is important for others. We can know what uh, we can we should know the definition of this so i will go one by one ipr at the domain it acts a patent is the invention uh, so we, we all know that the difference between discovery and invention trademarks is a logo or symbol even name can be a, a trademark like a bata coca-cola the name also can be tata can be there but they also have a, some uh, logo where once we see the logo we get the uh, product a uh, quality of product so that we know that from our every day so i cannot mention few uh, brand names but we are going to see that also how they design it uh, says some purpose of course there are some uh, brand names need not to be registered like the hindu newspaper because it's more than 150 years so they don't need to be registered so no one can use this uh, logo even it was not registered so there are some exceptions are always there. Design, shape and appearance. It's only a, just a mere appearance. That's very important. GI, we are going to see what are GI. Geography indication is consumer research is one of the classical example. Uh, Tanjavur art plate, something like that. Trade secret, Coca-Cola uh, formula, uh, KFC recipe. These are trade secrets. And the plant varieties, new breeds of plants. So you know that from, a, if you know the biology side, we do a D, DNA, DNA modification and the gene uh, uh, changes and we bring in equalities. In that case, a scientist or a company is going to work for many years. So for that, they're investing a lot of time. 
so that also need to be protected so here we are going to see uh, one important point is this ipr it's a negative right yeah inventor is spending a time to bring out a new invention which is very useful for the society and this invention need to be protected that's very important so it's a negative right the inventor is going to prevent others using uh, others are going to use uh, uh, his invention only with his permission his or her permission that's very important it's called negative right so it's like something like we have a door in a home we allow a uh, individual or any one group only we uh, we decide who are going to enter into our home same way it's like ipr so patent is the invent in a way, inventor the, there are one important points there in application if we, we are going in detail later i don't know there are like a if a individual a student or faculty is going to file a patent uh, to protect their invention their name definitely will be there in the inventors list so important is who is the applicant applicant is going to hold the right that's very important inventors who are involved their names will be there applicant will hold the rights so it should be a generally before starting any invention do your research and to find uh, your invention it's better to have agreement and start research otherwise in the end there may be a problem between the uh, students and faculty or students faculty and uh, college so generally another important point we have been trained most of the faculty members may are students may be students are not uh, faculty members may think like uh, they have a invention whether the college will own some part so according to the law since we are employed we have a, if we have a invention when we means the faculty members if they be file a invention during uh, our tenure time naturally even the name of the college is not mentioned even it's not mentioned naturally the college or management or the uh, the university will have so we have to negotiate with the management or a college and we have to come with agreement either they can give no objection or we have to give a certain percentage percentage of royalty so copyright is the author or director so you know that it's anything performance example if this uh, uh, presentation is recorded that can be a copyright so design so design is a uh, gi i already mentioned about conservation sari trade secrets it's a uh, some secrets so coca cola is a classical example or only uh, the secret will be known for 3% and the 3% individual person will not travel on the same uh, flight or they will not meet or something like that they have agreement because they want to keep the secret for many years plan varieties already i said about the gene modification and so on so there are patents i mean how it's uh, going to be there uh, these are the I mean, engineering i mentioned as well as biotechnology so it's from a latin the word uh, patent from a latin it's from it's available in wikipedia it started in the uh, uh, 15th century from republic of venice okay the strategic development of successful invention why inventions are important identification of problem that needs to be solved that's very important first we need to identify a problem then we have to see whether that solution is better than existing solution the the prior art is means like literature literature search which we use in the research the same way prior art is used so if already there are some solution our solution should be better than that that's very important and it should not be a mere rearrangement that's also important i cannot take a pen from different companies and make a uh, combination of course it's a new but it's only a mere rearrangement that's very important so uh, you are developing a prototype to demonstrate invention it's also uh, very important and uh, ipr office will not ask any uh, proof uh, of i mean uh, uh, hard work they will ask you only the drawings and uh, and if they, they ask some explanation you have to say that but idea cannot be uh, patented that's very important so we have to give the results earlier we can give the ranges from example there were probably uh, if you uh, see some companies they had a uh, uh, issues on ipr about uh, some engine one so 20 mm to 
ATM. Now it's not possible. You have to exactly say which uh, specific uh, numbers we have to say. That's uh, very important. So filing a patent is very important. We cannot disclose to anyone. Of course, for the academic purpose, there is a one a provision in Indian uh, law that if you present a, a, uh, your invention in somewhere in academic purpose for the research forum, within our publish it, with, you have one year time to uh, file a patent. That's also possible. Okay. Could I go to the next one? So trademark. So you know that uh, if you see that, if you starting from that, you can see the bugger. Bugger is just, uh, on, you will know it's a bugger shape is there. So CNN, it's a cable uh, network. And FedEx, it's like something that like, uh, uh, it has a, a long uh, uh, container one. So uh, these are the, uh, from Mercedes Benz, like a uh, yeah, car where the uh, driving uh, 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 one which is mentioned. So we know that it's a car, uh, Mercedes Benz is a car company. So these are the, some of the, you can see that uh, Coca-Cola, BBC, they written uh, BBC itself. It's also, uh, uh, I already mentioned that sometimes even uh, Yahoo, even the name can be also trademark. So there is a registered, unregistered. There are two types already there. If you can, you must have seen the R, the number somewhere in uh, commercial copyright. So once, according to the law, once we write something, immediately it comes into the copyright. If you want to make sure that uh, you, to prevent someone is copying it, it's better to go for a registration, copyright registration itself. So it could be a musical notes or a yeah, stand-up comedy or photographs, particularly youngsters should know that if you take a photograph and uh, you can, if you post it in a social media, immediately you will lose your copyright. So generally uh, it's written in the law in the, when we have a Facebook or a, any Twitter or any social media. So for that, there is a one uh, provision is there. We have to put a, a watermark and your name and the year should be mentioned in the watermark and then you post it to the social media. Then you will hold the copyright. Otherwise, you will lose your copyright to the public domain. So anyone can use it. That's very important. So in case if it's going to be very valuable photographs in the future, you will lose your, that uh, commercial uh, angle. So please, for the youngsters, I always mean, suggest to you to, if you take a photograph, put a watermark and put your name and the, your details inside the watermark and the year and post it in social media. So people cannot I mean, uh, take it out. So they, you will have a claim over that. Designs. I already mentioned about design. Design is just the appearance uh, of uh, any uh, yeah, yeah, engineering uh, uh, yeah, machine art would be something like that. So it's only aesthetic look. So it will not give any details. So design in India is a design application. In the US, it's called a patent, design patent. So there is a small difference. Uh, so I want to mention here, one second here. The law can be uh, every country can have their own law. So that's very important. So the patent or IPR, which the individual is going to obtain, will be a territorial in nature. That's important. So once uh, X person will have a patent here in India, if he or she wants to file a, have a protection in other country, in Y country, he or she needs to file a separate application. There are two procedures are there, still it's going to be a, a technical way. So one is directly you can file into the that country, or you can go through the WIPO. We are going to see about WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, about that. So G.I. already mentioned that, Pandir Mungsil Sari, even, uh, yes, uh, Tirupati Laddu is also comes under G.I. So G.I., the definition is G.I., the land will have a product for many years, traditionally, that comes under G.I. That's very important. So Tanjavur art plate probably you know that from Marathi time, 300 years, more than 300 years. So we have a plate, is a uh, Tanjavur plate, and also painting is also from Mara, Maharashtra. So they have a golden, with the gold, and they, they use this painting. So it has a special painting. So only the difference in the IPR, GA cannot be awarded to any individual. GA will be to the 
a society so kanthipuram uh, vaiva society will have this uh, 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 tag so a, a person cannot make kanthipuram sari somewhere outside of kanthipuram so and cannot have a tag so that's very important so this to promote tourism and also protect the uh, this uh, intellectual property rights for the that place that's very important so tripadi ladd and darjeeling tea and something like that it, they have many numbers if you are still interested i will give the website and you can go on that. so a mere uh, changes for comfortable to have a comfortable life it's not an invention so that should be very clear it's only uh, just make some modification so this all a small modification of course we like to have a equal parts in the pizza so there is a some uh, provision to cut the pizza in equal portion of course we, uh, in uh, nowadays it's not a good day to uh, move the child it's not good for the uh, uh, brain development of the child okay these are the just uh, uh, some changes it's not uh, not at all comes under uh, ipr or patent or design it could be uh, if you have something uh, design it could be the design but not under patent definitely okay so some of the points i would like to touch here patent generally in india for 20 years and it can be renewed every year after that trademark there is no limit but every 10th year need to be reviewed copyright is a lifetime author plus 60 years so probably you know what is the special about 60 years so this one disney uh, uh disney's uh, the image cartoon owned by a company in us this company wants to hold this disney uh, right copyright for some more years so us is keep extending this years so after the authors death 60 years they have this so still this so that is the reason it's go, keeps Uh, they are extending it for some more years so that is a reason generally so that it could be if you write a a, a book a, a novel or copyright material stand up comedy if you are going to get a revenue definitely like our other property we will pass this uh, revenue to our legal heirs that is also very important design already mentioned that it's a 10 plus 5 years this is only a, a Yeah, appearance how it looks so if a, a, a phone is there how it looks so almost uh, a camera could be if they keep it in separate places something uniqueness should be there that there should be there so after seeing that we'll know this uh, this is from other company layout designs gi already mentioned there is no limit but every uh, 10th year there should be a bit i'm sorry it's not a, uh, uh, the white plant varieties 18 years and 15 years and reviewed after 6 year and 9 year there are some more uh, in to that so if we should know what are the uh, invention not patentable in india that's very important so uh, definitely yeah, topographic integrated circuits cannot be patented in india and agriculture methods cannot be uh, patented atomic energy related activities medical medical or surgical so in case if it's some emergency we cannot get a permission from a, to a doctor for surgical uh, one so it cannot be done frivolous or something contrary to the scientific findings or law it's not possible so these are the possibility and still many more is the mathematical formula uh, we cannot do and mere idea cannot be patented this is all possible we have a list if you are interested you can go to this patent act 1970 and uh, there are some sub section of that there and we can see that and also we have a uh, some more thing Uh, india has a special law it's called 3d section 3d according to this law we can uh, yeah a company uh, yeah famous company in uh, from switzerland had a molecule that particular chemical molecule useful for some other purpose that same molecule a small modification the company did and it found that that is very useful and can be given as a oral drug for a cancer but it could kept a high uh, amount for that then because of the section 3d indian government has as a law that says that if uh, already known a molecule which is i mean known and 
is used for some other purpose and the small changes cannot be patented again so now the same drug oral drug is only probably one of the few drugs orally can be taken probably you know that if you know little bit biology generally a drug if it's taken orally it's uh, better for us because it goes through a digestive system if it goes intravenous it's quite uh, it uh, directly it goes to the our uh, that's a uh, circulation it sometimes it may cause a problem so when it goes through the uh, in uh, our digestive system generally it takes a longer time and even if it's some adverse effect we can save the life if it goes intravenous then it goes immediately and uh, started uh, so its reaction so we already mentioned that uh, uh, we have a patent uh, one of uh, our students uh, and there is a professor from iit medals we have uh, uh, filed a patent uh, and also designed the same uh, machine we have made as a design application because the, how the way it looks so it have been uh, published and we are waiting for an examination so there is a procedure a long procedure i don't know whether if you are interested i can tell first thing if you have invention an idea you should not disclose to anyone that's a very important point you should disclose always only to the ipr office then you uh, if you have small uh, some interesting results it's better always put a provisional application into the office ipr office provisional is a temporary application that you have to give a, a title and a few uh, findings you uh, you will have a one year time to file a detailed findings that's called complete specification or complete application so within a one year you can do more research and find it and find it so you will have a protection so because one year is uh, that you have advantage so because because according to the law indian law date of filing is very important so it's always better to file if you have a complete results you can go for complete uh, applications i already mentioned that so before that you should not disclose to anyone that's very important otherwise it's uh, if the reason is example we have a ginger the ginger when we have a headache we take a ginger i mean in form like a liquid form or we take it so somebody cannot go and file that say that ginger is patented i i have found that it's uh, meant to move the headache because it's already known cannot be patented that's so that is why in biotechnology uh, yeah researcher need to prove that it's completely novel so yeah researcher cannot yeah, go to the amazon forest and find a, a new uh, 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 tree or uh, yeah uh, one uh, yeah leaves that cures uh, uh, cancer because if something already existing cannot be patented that's very important because it's uh, it's uh, for everyone it's only a discovery discovery discoveries cannot be patented that's very important so ip legislation in india so 1970 act trademark act okay the reason why i give you all this youngsters if you are interested to go to a uh, patent uh, officer in uh, in a uh, ipr office the youngsters the government of india is recruiting officers uh, and they train the uh, people from different backgrounds so from engineering science because these are the uh, officers in future they are going to evaluate the patent from this discipline so they will so it's a ip uh, one is something like a technical as well as law together it's like a 50 50 so you should know the technical uh, details in uh, ec if you, if you are from ec you should know your subject then you should know the indian law and of course then after that international uh, also you should know but at least in if you are working in government of india you should know the law in india then you evaluate accordingly that's very important so that's why this legislation are there it's a very good job if you really wanted every year that uh, conduct exam and you can go to indian ipr office i will give a website uh, soon and uh, it is available in the hindi so all of you from chennai so definitely you might have seen that and uh, for a faculty members if you are interested you can be a patent agent so npdl already they have courses for a patent exam patent uh, drafting or something like that but if you pass this exam you will become patent agent you can file your invention yourself you can file invention for others also there is a procedure now it's everything online so 
always is easy and you can also earn money for students if you don't want to go to job in a government job you can also be a patent uh, agent and you can work in a yeah, attorneys with attorneys for in your field so you don't need to even go to the office because they need only drafting the technical people and law together so techno legal uh, person that's technical legal so in india the lawyers are acting as a uh, ipr uh, one whereas if you are an engineer if you understand the subject it's always better so you can start your own company also ip offices where it's available it's uh, of course it comes under the department of industrial policy and the promotion and it's a uh, you know because of commerce and industry it's a commercial one so whatever the invention it should be useful for the society that's very important and we should have a commercial possibility should be there we should get revenue from that that's very important otherwise the company will not invest on the invention so patent all the I main offices mentioned particularly in uh, uh, ga exclusively ga will take care of, taken care by chennai office designs will be taken care of by kolkata office so that's a uh, I main difference otherwise uh, trademarks are this are the uh, all the offices they take care as a student why i need to enhance my job opportunity so one of the uh, leading software company uh, japanese company they fail uh, they sorry they file average every year one patent uh, per day so if you are going to be employed such a companies so it's better to have yeah a knowledge and uh, they expect a, a, a basic knowledge of ipr and you will know this is an invention and this is a discovery so that need some training also so and you will become a, a different from a crowd and also you will know what to do so you know you will find the prior art that i mean uh, literature search you know what is the existing solution then you will improve slowly one step further with less cost so it's better so that's what companies are looking uh, uh, for the answers so if you have this the possibility will become uh, to be hired for a big companies so just the getting marks it's only a mere in the paper but companies are looking a few uh, student in people where with the uh, tune of uh, good research mental uh, ability carry out and uh, innovative mind and have a uh, out of box thinking these are the uh, and team work individually we can also need to work and as with the team that's a very, very important point for the youngsters they should be able to work as a team as well as individual this combination they look for that big companies they are looking so invention can be uh, can be carried out so the more the more invention are the company is going to hold a patent or ips they are more richer the share is also I mean uh, the shareholders and the invents investment all is going to base on this invention ipr so this is uh, one of the important points for the point of student for the point of uh, institution it's a conducting ip seminars we have ip cells and ip awareness program in since you are in from chennai definitely you can invite a, a patent officer from a, a chennai office uh, probably the officer if is the background of ec definitely he could explain or he can uh, instead of telling that all the fundamentals he can uh, probably you have to discuss the uh, case studies that will be more helpful for you that will take some time like uh, between the companies ericsson and nokia like what they had uh, some issues there could be many case studies out there that will I mean i have not uh, prepared a slide for that otherwise we can go in detail that so if you are a patent officer from a chennai, uh, chennai so because their job they whenever they go to the different because they conduct uh, ib seminars road shows they conduct okay ministry of education i already mentioned that is the new name earlier it was ministry of human resource development they want uh, to promote uh, patent Uh, filed by in india more than uh, other countries so you can see the graph so china is top on the top and nearly 46% patent application filed all over world they have a share and particularly if you see that the resident of chinese in china they file more whereas in us it's like a, the 
or they are in us and uh, from application from other countries or maybe it's a little bit more so this shows that they are trying to uh, mean occupy ipr uh, they are they are going to prevent all I mean not they are taking a share of the invention uh, in uh, around the world and if they are going to top probably we lose uh, our um, uh, competition our companies will lose the competitions probably we need to buy uh, products from them and there is no chance and uh, we have to pay for them so this is a way is uh, so government of india has taken uh, initiative if an uh, institution is going to file a 20 patent in a year 10 patent filing charges only the government charges not the attorney charges government charges are very nominal that common government charges are will be given by the programs called kapila so if you are really interested i can give the the website iic i am going to give that if you go that kapila is there kalam program for ip literacy is there so if that they will fund it so if a college or a university is going to file a 20 patent in a year 10 uh, patent cost will be reimbursed by the ministry so it's possible so there is a uh, officer who is in charge that please visit kapila k p i l a if you put kapila you will see uh, details sir if you are interested i can also give this so patent drafting nptel will have a course it's very good from iit madras so please you can take drafting is very important so that like uh, taking a case i mean you know that if we have uh, some problem legal problem we can fight ourselves in the court or we can hire a lawyer for ourselves or in that also we have a different uh, level or that so it all like drafting is going to play um, in a major role in that if uh, drafting is not there properly then we may lose our invention to someone else so big companies can come into the invention and they 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 find some loopholes and they can take it out so it's very important it's just a production is not important uh, filing you have to put a production among your invention that's also important so if you are interested a student can take a patent drafting for a business from nptel this is a wipo office i already mentioned about wipo world intellectual property organization it's in geneva new zealand sorry switzerland so it is it's not a head office it's a connecting office that's very important i already mentioned ipr is a territorial in nature so it connects the, all the countries to have a uh, file each other where you can if you i already mentioned that you can one of the ways is like something we have a, a patent here then i would like to put a, a, my application uh, somewhere in the uh, tax country then i can go through this office or i can pay, pay uh, file directly two ways this is one of the ways so probably from starting from that there are seven uh, uh, lines so representing seven continents and also seven types of ipr so this year i mean uh, april I mean every year april 26 is a world ipr day so this year they have a new uh, 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 for this year logo is ip and sms so intellectual property for small and medium sized enterprises so that is the one so when we have a some invention it should be as made as a startup and it should be taken to the commercial possibility that's the idea so youngsters you may have a, a idea uh, and you can work on a, your invention and make it as a commercial possibility and solve the problem then get the revenue from that that's the idea so this is a way we work on that that's a point they are given for this year the team yeah, they are given by wipo world intellectual property organization you can go to the website also so as a uh, students and uh, if faculty members if you are interested uh, you can take a courses on wipo academy it's an online courses or distance learning courses it's a free of cost and it needs only uh, you have to spend a time then you will understand the ipr in depth one and you will answer all the questions and you will get some of the uh, exams are uh, we can we should be taken only certain time some of the exams will be uh, can be taken any time there are a lot of courses are there uh, you can go this uh, to the website wipo academy distance learning program is there i have taken some courses i would like to mention one of the best courses I mean i would suggest it's uh, promoting access to medical technologies and the innovation yeah it's a world health organization 
WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, WTO, World TT Organization, all these are exit courses. So to pass this a minimum 60 or 70 percent, it's online course. So they have a course, like material of 60 to 70 pages. We, if you study uh, and if you understand, then we can able to answer. So it's not a uh, big work. And I would request you to take uh, these courses, Patent Cooperation TT, and also this uh, MCQ courses. You can take as many as time. It's not uh, you can. It, it, it's not like a pass fail method. So in case for it's model wise, you can answer. If there is a one, uh, even if a single answer is wrong, then you are, you can take entire module one second. Only 100% complete, then you can go to the module two, three, four. So once you complete, immediately you will have a uh, course. So I after taking it, I will I mean, increase our faculty members on the students probably more the like. Uh, more than 200, 300 uh, certificates we are received by students and faculty members. Then we keep promoting. So I also request our faculty members uh, in JNN to promote among the students and faculty members to take such courses. And for faculty members, this slide is, if you are interested, we trained in various uh, uh, training from offered by WIPO, please apply. You have to get a recommendation from your uh, uh, head of the institution. So you can uh, online uh, could be an yeah, online training program, or you may have to visit nearby places. Uh, could be in the from the Asian country, or could be you need sometime you may go to Switzerland for training also. One of the best uh, books, if you are a beginner, it's uh, uh, by Dr. Sheetal Chopra, and uh, she's a lawyer, and uh, they, she has an academy, and this is also supported by ACTE. If you go to this one, you will see that. This uh, website, I will give this website. IPTSC, Intellectual Property Talent Search Examination. So if you are really serious about this, you can contact this uh, 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 academy and they conduct exams for your students and also they will train. The book is cost, online cost is only $200 and 300 rupees. I have this copy. It's uh, between your uh, uh, daughter and mother, they talk about IPR and uh, easily explained all the concepts so because sometimes people ask uh, some questions which is very uh, fundamental and uh, that uh, for the youngsters they should know uh, what is IPR and uh, we should not sometimes we may have a some invention during or doing your, your project time or during your studies time like you need to be product otherwise it, your invention will go to some other hand or it will be in the public domain so important you should not put it in the public domain that's very important you have to file it first. That's very important. It's the Chennai office, and uh, it's uh, in I'm sorry, the website. Sorry. So Chennai office near Gindi. I already mentioned that you can also uh, go there and uh, visit, or you can ask them to come and explain. Now they may take an uh, online. Uh, it's a WIPO. This is a WIPO Academy. I already mentioned about WIPO Academy. So if you are taking e-learning centers, a lot of courses are there, and the IPR India. And IP India NIC dot in. If you go there, definitely you can take this uh, website. They have all the materials also. Uh, Indian law, if you want to know on this. They also have, we probably you might have heard that uh, uh, legal battle between uh, for Basmati rice and uh, our uh, uh, all our traditional knowledge between the countries. So probably know the story as case study. I will explain it in a, uh, maybe uh, less than a minute. The scientists uh, are originated from India settled in the US, started by mutating uh, rice and uh, gene uh, modification. The aroma of rice is looks like uh, Basmati rice in India. Uh, sorry, India and Pakistan, because it belongs to subcontinent. So it uh, grown, Basmati rice probably you know that is grown uh, on the Himalayan uh, terrain. So it has a special aroma that we make it for a special uh, time. So that uh, aroma, he has made in uh, Texas. So he made it Tex Mati and he sold, started, uh, he also got a patent, US patent. Then Indian government and uh, Pakistani government has realized that if we are going to lose the patent to that uh, the scientist, then we will lose a, a big commercial uh, possibility. Like we cannot uh, export this rice to other countries. Then they fought and uh, like the same way to America and something. So now, Traditional TKDL, there is a, some, uh, I did not uh, bring that uh, slide here. There is a uh, website by a government of India. If you put a TKDL, 
ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज डेटा बेस टीकेडीएल डेटा डेटा लिंक और समथिंग दैट टीकेडीएल यू विल पुट ऑल द वन इन द सेम इन द डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज इट विल बी इन लाइक सेम तमिल लैंग्वेज और इट कुड बी एनी अदर लैंग्वेजेस सो वी कैन नॉट पेटेंट एनी ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज taking from somewhere and we cannot get a patent that's the idea so all the countries all over the world they have started such websites so country will look such knowledge or such databases before awarding a patent and of course we can also file a main product it albert einstein at the age of 26 was working as patent examiner so when you read a patent a lot of patent you will understand the technical uh, thing so you will know the point so that's why it was there so i uh, slowly i'll run through uh, some slides uh, because it will go faster because we already have been crossed uh, uh, almost a few minutes uh, so we have uh, some uh, research uh, one collaboration with the university of iowa that we take up lung of the people primary cooks using lpg and biomass particularly biomass so we have observed that people are cooking they don't absorb they don't find that uh, biomass is very harmful so if you can see that their images are lung images are infected so the particles are inserted we have taken a 23 subject almost uh, all of them are women and we have see the difference between the uh, people with lpg and biomass in case even with lpg if there is no proper ventilation is there it's very harmful so that we have published a couple of papers and uh, with uh, also some image in the european respiratory journal with impact factor so you can see a biofuel by this is a point which i like to mention whenever sometime we have a, some uh, we use a biomass for uh, some other outdoor purposes also it's really harmful and they can go into the lungs and it can cause a damage to our lungs okay i work a small uh, my research started i mean post doctoral research started with a silicon wafer i work on a silicon wafer i take in silicon wafer and uh, make a some modification so i don't want to go in detail in the chemistry side just i i will explain probably directly i will go maybe ah uh, this is atomic force microscope which i use it in uh, osaka university here which i have in tanjavur this uh, instrument so what is the purpose uh, probably you know that uh, piso will be there okay i will explain there will be a piso will be there so you know what is a piso so it can contract or expand so based on the voltage which then will be a cantilever there then will be tip will be there so there we can measure it uh, the topography of any surface that you know the difference between the surface and topography topography is something you see from the top if you see that you will see only ups and down the surface is something you see scanning electron microscope using electron we bombard it and we see so that's the difference we see it so we do uh, some patterning of uh, some molecules the purpose is something like i will explain the schematic diagram i take n type silicon i do some modification i put oxide dots it's sao2 on the surface and make some chemical modification finally we put on the biomolecules on the top that's a idea that we publish before i leave this probably you know that uh, hiroshima before i leave we have visited hiroshima this uh, left side is uh, my on my left side this is uh, hiroshima before the bombing and this after the bombing so this uh, top one is the the current one uh, i mean how the way because we will know the uh, the impact of atomic bomb so still there are uh, children are born with uh, some defects because of the gene mutations okay one of the uh, students all the students are uh, very uh, uh, resourceful and very encouraging when you have tell them idea they will have come up with a new idea i have explained this so they because we cannot have uh, some uh, oxide dots here so we did a copper wire and we took a copper wire and we made something like a assembly and we applied a bias voltage and we made a oxide dots and it's not in our level but it's in a micro we published a paper now that guy is now is in uh, netherland is doing post review work so yeah, we have published with a couple of papers with him so that it depends on the uh, group of students so once we encourage them and we give opportunity definitely they will shine through that and it good that once the, he has a couple of papers from us and from his uh, mtech uh, from, uh, from central economic research should then he traveled to australia then he came back to india then now he was the doing phd in norway then he went to uh, the land 
so if you are one step ahead others by proving that you are doing research if you want a scholarship if you want a money i probably you know that uh, uh, most of my uh, entire after my masters entire studies <coughs> funded by scholarships always from a, a, a normal family we cannot travel abroad so if you want to be a person a researcher you we have to show that you are uh, you can you are capable of doing a research uh, so that you need extra step for that you need to work a uh, little bit smart and hard work both together and understand the research and out of box thinking and if you apply that so definitely you will get a scholarships and uh, for your studies and you can travel and you can get a lot of experience so uh, one of our uh, uh, colleague now is working in south korea so he was earlier with us and uh, i when he visited i was telling the same idea then i was looking the copper wire then he made a etching of the copper wire and he made it so we had a couple of papers on that so there uh, mr satyaraj I mean now is dr satyaraj he also published a review with after days okay probably i am not going into detail uh, i will skip uh, this one so one of the uh, probably the one nano innova technologies one of the uh, companies in spain they have made of the dots and uh, they are selling it so it's like array so in a small chip we can have a uh, reduction on the many parameters as many as parameters so that is a possibility so you know so by sensor something like taking a biological signal converting into electronic signal is a bio sensor so we do uh, some a from rated work uh, and we do uh, always we do a direct diagram ourselves so one i can i can explain that the, the red one is a cantilever then tip is there then of course gold is there if the gold is there then we can put thiol group then with some modification we hang enzyme and substrate we measure the force in piconetium so if you their fingers is a newton force then if you measure in pico newton you can imagine that the force we are measuring it it gives some more information detailed information so i had opportunity to travel to uh, flinders university in australia for uh, so i work on at the time up to that time i was working only in the flat silicon surface so where they start they work on a porous silicon work so they take a silicon uh, wafer they etch the surface they have a, a made a surface modification and the use interferometry and use a developer bias sensor of course four months was not a big time so i could not able but i was able to get a very uniform uh, course which was one of the best uh, course which uh, 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 which uh, they made but we could not develop a, into a meaningful research because there was some uh, failures in next few steps so we can see that under nanolithography where i started doing a flat and uh for us i made a oxide dot so you know that i make oxide dot on a flat surface they we were i was trained the uh, porous layer i did uh, oxide dot on the porous surface so this is a combination of this so this was also not uh, taken into a research level then before leaving i visited a zoo in uh, uh, australia so gangaro you can see that is sleeping there. okay i skip uh, then also like i take a slick on uh, nano particles like i can use it for some other uh, uh, drug delivery and also one of the uh, our research scholar he has taken a robust hydrophobic super hydrophobic coatings like we take a surface and we coat it where we want uh, prevent uh, water particle particles on the surface where that is super hydrophobic coatings that is the idea that we did uh, with the central electrochemical research institute so with the central electrochemical research institute uh, our collaborator dr madhya rasu like uh, one of the our my colleagues dr ramnan umresan he gave idea on myoinositol can be added uh, a yeah, yeah, marker for detecting uh, uh, diabetes in the earlier stage so person we can tell the person that you are going to get a diabetes in so in uh, so that we developed a bio sensor and also published in the last year in a micro chemical act so i already mentioned that we have some purple uh, that we make uh, like a copper wire and we extend surface now i have tried to look as a uh, person like uh, by mechanical device i want to uh, it's uh, i want to make it a very sharp 
the surface. So we apply bias voltage and we make opposite dot. I already mentioned that. So something like that. BNA methylation one is uh, one of our uh, uh, resist scholars. Now she's our uh, my colleague. She is working on DNA methylation. So we take a cancer tissues from Tanjore Medical College with the permission ethical committee after surgery. They remove the uh, the cancer tissues and also they remove a small part of uh, yeah, yeah, good tissue. So they put it in the uh, formalin. Then we, with the permission, they we take it and we measure the DNA methylation. So our diagram has been appeared in the Journal of Molecular Diagnostics, and is from the US, mostly read by uh, doctors by professions. So that is a review. So this is a diagram. You know that uh, CG, ATG, C, the combination how the DNA is a uh, CPG at the end. CPG is a uh, Wherever methylation is a methyl group, you know, if you know a little bit of chemistry, wherever methyl group is a, it's the end of the molecule. So, like in a DNA, if methyl group is a, there is no other RNA, there is no RNA, then there cannot be a protein, something like that. So, I just skip all this and I go like content of the presentation, something very important. There are a lot of funding agents are there that I'm going to give you the list. You can take it out and yourself can do that. DSC is one of the largest funding agencies in India. So if your faculty members are less than 35, now we can go for the young scientist one. They change into young scientist, our scheme. LA is fast track scheme. So you can do that, it's a better one. You can apply and you don't need to go even presentation, I think, if you will get it without presentation. So uh, they have innovative ideas. They have a DSC, have a woman, for women, if they have a career break, two years, I think they can apply, uh, have a, uh, some scholarship. DBD for us, it's uh, like straightforward. They always have a, some projects, which is challenging one. So we have to see a trust areas of uh, government of India if we are get, want a uh, fund from government of India. So generally they take only one month, it's very short. So we need to keep peak paper and keep our proposals ready. And once there, we can apply. And the international collaboration is also possible. Like if, if you have collaboration, either you can go a call, join call will be there, then you can apply with them. Because once the call is there, if you start approaching, there are many uh, scientists or faculty members will be approaching to them also. So it's better to write them well in advance and they have a contact collaboration and something like that. Then you start applying mm -hmm. for that. So it's a bullet train. So it's a they, in Japanese, they Shinkansen. So we have been to the Hiroshima that I said. So it's a Czech architect who have built this uh, uh, the dome. It's a, it's a Hiroshima municipal house. So he was built by Czech architect. Okay. So there are like choosing research problem. It's uh, like the trust areas is are very important. And uh, short term goals, long term goal. And uh, plagiarism is very important. As uh, many of the students are uh, generally, now there is a, software is free of cost. So we uh, we always ask the students to write individually in, uh, in, uh, without uh, copying something. So they have to write themselves. Uh, they understand they should write and they should give the reference. That's very important. Uh, that's a point which I like. So aim is always should be focused and clear and uh, it should be like uh, uh, one or two lines. Objectives in bullet points and they're very clear and uh, a schematic diagram is always encouraged so people can understand it without even a sub they understand the subject. Background justification why we need to do what already we done, literature search is very important. Methodology flow chart will be, should be there with appropriate references is very important to, I mean, uh, al alternate method, alternate strategy is very important. In case if there is a problem, what are the other ways to solve? Finally, we have to get the get to our final our target. That's very important. So expected results is very important. We always should know what we are, we should get. And unexpected results also we have to expect. I have some case study, which I'm not going because already uh, we are running out, out of time. So impact of expected results is very important. Once the, there is going to be some results, what is going to be impact of the results on this? So that the society are useful. So in nowadays, there are always a social uh, uh, researcher also included in the proposals because if whatever we do should somewhere should be applied to the society that's very important if it's not applied and it's not useful then it may not be a government is not ready to find fund so timeline should be there 
it's a very because we are going to get a money from a, a government it's a tax based money so each rupees is very important so we have to be very very careful generally nowadays uh, government is not funding for instruments so uh, for human resource as well as uh, for the important uh, 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 things which we want uh, for doing carrying out research and sometimes we can do our characterization on everything in other places but software that can be also be bought and uh, probably they will not buy allow to buy a, uh, a computer they expect uh, college to provide or individual should have there are references different types of formatting is there definitely you can you will know that IPR already mentioned that about IPR detail. Then funding agency details. So we are going to be almost close to the end. I have the details of funding agency. If you see that, I also give the website here. We have a list in the our university as a resource for researchers. Some of the fellowships would like to I mentioned that JSPS, Japanese Promotion of Science for researchers, JSPS, Humboldt. It's a dad and uh, brain pool and uh, Newton. These are the some prestigious fellowships. Fulbright. Okay, if you are interested, you can go to this website and uh, go there. <coughs> so in Australia, before I leave this, you know that uh, bridge in Sydney bridge. It's very famous. It's uh, engineering marvelous. They have been designed. You can see the people can go and come back on the track. Okay, the journey of man. I'm end of this uh, presentation. So, if you're really interested, how the human being are traveled from Africa all around the world, I hope we are spread that. There is a story. It's called the journey of man, genetic odyssey. You can go to the YouTube. They also taken a DNA. Just a minute, sorry. They take the DNA of a <clears throat> person in uh, Madurai and they found that it's like almost exactly matching in the African origin. And they have, uh, they have designed how the human uh, being, are, they traveled from there and they spread it all around the world. So summary, IPR and research and the funding opportunities I have given and our team was a big Without team effort, it's not possible. <coughs> Acknowledgement. I particularly I would like to tell uh, <coughs> Dr. Vishnu currently in Tokyo University <coughs> in Japan, and a Kobe cluster creation for 25th century of excellence in uh, Osaka for funding my two years stay there. DBT project. DST project because we done a M -tech nanotech pro nanotechnology program in the institute with the funding from uh, uh, DST and also there are we have a research funding from Mini MI and received endeavor executive so I have technology uh, Australian government for this award I also have a team I already mentioned that uh, from uh, Nicholas Walker from Australian University <laughs> faculty members now most of them are completed their PhDs. <laughs> they are working all around the world. Thank you very much for the If you have any questions, you can put in the chat box. Probably the uh, convener they will uh, ask the question to me. Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, is it okay? Our voice was clear for all the presentation. Yes, sir. Okay, you are clear, you. sir.
sir yes sir yes ma'am uh actually one person has asked a question yeah please uh, uh how about the pricing for patent application in india sir okay uh there are i already mentioned that if you are going to file yourself without attorney it's only very minimal like the government cost is always like 1000 rupees 1500 like something 2000 maximum that so we have filed our, ourselves the patent and design patent and we spent close to 10000 rupees only i'm talking about the government fees so for uh, up to publishing it even if you file for examination so if, uh, for uh, examination if you are going to, to attorney it's going to be a uh, many fold increase depending on the level of the attorney so there are attorney they are asking even uh, 60000 there are some attorney they are asking even more than a lakh so it depends on that so it's uh, if you want to be uh, yourself it's possible a inventor can file in themselves so for that i would suggest to go courses like uh, nptel patent drafting courses and you have to put your signature in e signature uh, uh, that you have to verify it in a government portal and you can put your document you can create your own and you can file it yourself otherwise if you have money then you can go to it an attorney is it clear ma'am uh, yes sir thank you sir uh, so now i would like to present the vote of thanks uh, i am very much happy that i got a chance to thank everyone present here first of all i should thank our honorable chairman beloved vice chairman our dynamic principal our respectful hod sir for conducting this webinar to learn interdisciplinary thoughts and ideas additionally i should thank our noblest presenter to and today's guest dr kumaran sir for sharing his thoughts and ideas in intellectual property he teaches us how the rights applied in the intellectual property and where to and how to protect the innovations and the research and finally i should thank everybody virtually present here for joining this webinar thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you ma'am thank you for the opportunity